Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alfred Hitchcock, and tonight's tale has to do with greed and lust and horror and violence and sacrilege. No, it doesn't have to do with any of those things. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an entertainer for crying out loud. It makes, uh, what, 500 bucks a month? I'm lucky for this month. Okay, let's for, you know what? Let's use this as a perfect example to start off my venting. This right here, one of many streets here in the East End, which those freaking geniuses at the Ville de Montréal decided to, and not just a street like this, a side street, but even on some main street like saint Subai, which is uh, Christophe Colomb there. So what they do, they get rid of two lanes to put in a bike path here, which I see nobody's using. It's really, really amazing. Uh, I mean, really, just... Uh, I, anyway, it's just not revolting, but it's irritating because don't they realize these fucking morons that when it's rush hour Which has become almost, almost all the time in the city now, you know that There's gonna be more in cars idling in traffic. That means more pollution. You see the irony here where I'm drawing here, right? Hmm? Think about it Anyway, look it is just gorgeous. It's sunny. It's setting here. It's May uh, 23rd, I think 2021 curfew is going to end eventually happy to tell you that here in quebec uh, bars and restaurants will soon be reopening unfortunately we'll be still forced to wear the goddamn masks until september that sucks and i don't think i'm going to keep going north on this street here la jeunesse because because you're not gonna be able to see things too well so i am going to go towards uh, i'm going to go where are we la jeunesse and uh I have six from you up, man, am I blind? Good day. So, uh, anyway, and look at all these islands here. Hey, man, you know, you think this stuff falls off the trees. And that's the problem. The young people, when I was young, okay, again, most of them don't believe anything they hear. Man, when I was, like, in my 20s and earlier, I was a fucking bump on the log. Would have believed anything you told me. And they're, they're the prime people the cities and governments are going after to believe everything. That they say that they say that this is right and it's good it's good for the environment it's great for it's safer hey listen you don't want to ride a bike on the street go right in the alleyways there's plenty of alleyways here's nobody there practically an odd stray cat or a, a mouse no oh yeah so you might have noticed i'm filming at the phone because uh i went to saint cia saint with ben the other day so when I, you know we go traveling here and there i film a lot of stuff look at this nice little garage door eh? wouldn't it be nice if you opened it and the 58 plymouth was in there Hey, imagine that you open that up and there's a valiant sitting there covered in dust and all that. It's okay. It's just YouTube Anyway, uh, so both my batteries are dead and I'm usually on top of that But I'm only human like that annoying song that annoying rock song that one of the reasons why I got tired of listening to fucking show my FM Guy's looking at me. Maybe he knows what I'm talking about. He looks like a rock type like me he comprends, he comprends. Yeah, Rock and roll, baby. It'll never die Anyway, uh, we're floating uh, west now waste waste we're floating waste you see that I used to have those kinds of lightings, but the funny thing is that the uh, the boil the balls were actually held up the other way, and they they're gone now. They've been replaced by LED. And um, maybe I'll try not talking so much, so that just you can enjoy the beauty of everything. And nice looking dog over here, and you know stuff like that. So we're walking towards Saint Denis, I think, uh, La Rue Saint Denis or Christophe Colomb. I mean, sometimes even I get confused because, uh, you know, like a lot of sectors, uh, residential streets look alike. You know, uh, the East End, the things look alike a lot actually, and uh, it's like a much older version of the West Island, the, you know, the burbs. So, again, you know, one of the things I don't like about filming with this phone though is you gotta sometimes you gotta hold it with like both hands, and it's not. Uh, Meow. Probably a stray. You know, I'm a Franco-Québécois, but I actually forget what a stray is in French. I'm sorry to say. Oh, I just love that lighting at the golden hours. It's known the twilight when the things look golden by the sun. I just absolutely love that. I couldn't. I could not resist not making a video. I wasn't planning on it. It's just. I'm like, how could I know? Yeah, here we go. St. Denis for the real Anglos, but really known as St. Denis. And up there is Boulevard Cremazie, which I'm tempted to go to, actually. Uh, because... Well, because I just came from down there. I just came from down there, which is uh, uh, Jarry, and I came from Jean Talon all the way down there. And uh, so I think I'm just gonna... Uh, 
Uh, let's zoom in here. I don't know. Je sais pas. Je sais pas. I don't know. This far, the metro stations are really far and few in between there. Here comes the scrap right on cue. Uh, la, 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 la. Qu'est-ce que je fais? Qu'est-ce que je fais? Qu'est-ce que je fais is French for what am I doing? And I don't think your lights are bright enough with your stupid echo. I hate that car. I hate it. Uh, you know what? We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna go back towards Jarry because I think, uh, knowing me, if I go towards Kermizzi, everything's gonna take a lot longer, and uh, I'm not feeling it. I'm not. I'm not feeling. It. I don't want to walk too much. I've already walked enough tonight, actually, uh, in a heavy rain even. Probably. Am I zoomed in still? Oops. Sorry. It rained so much, I got so soaked that I was afraid the phone was going to get too wet. Even though I know they're, they're well sealed, but, you know, still. Here for you bike fanatics here. What's that, an old Honda 750 or something? Looks like a Honda, Honda CB250 or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm learning about motorcycles still through uh, magazine ads that I have. So if you like, if you're really heavily into old bikes, I've got a lot of motorcycle ads from the 2000s and under. And what is this car again? That's a Hyundai, I think, isn't it? It's a Genesis? It's pretty neat. Uh, me, who's the discerning uh, car fan there, which has this incredible bias for vintage gas guzzlers. Jesus Christ, even the Ford Temple, although it had a, uh, a four-cylinder four engine, it still weighed a ton and uh, it took gas like there was no tomorrow. Well, maybe not like there was no tomorrow. It took a lot of fuel. It was a heavy little car. It was wide. You know? I used to have one of those. Oscillating fan. Okay, now I'm going up, which is not really what I want to do, but whatever. Again, it's a beautiful evening. There's an old Camry there. Look at that old Camry. Circa what, 93, 4, 5? Let's go take a little gander at her. This is the only thing I've seen vintage around here was a uh, Chevy van that I filmed uh, a while ago. Yeah, these in the Accords, they, they really put, at the time, the competition was what? The, uh, the Nissan Stanza, which was really... Uh, it was like a failure compared to the Camry and the Accord, the success these cars had. You know, they were they were just better looking cars and they were better they were better cars. I mean that, that Toyota right there might have, you know, two hundred and fifty thousand kilometers or more on it, but chances are uh, chances are actually it uh, judging by its condition, it probably has less than that even. Oh look at this old school beauty right here. Look at that, hey, that's got old school written all over it. I would maybe have that, but I'm really attached to the beach cruisers. These are very common vintage bikes for me. It's got to be, uh, it's got to be more rarer than that. But it's nice, it's nice. Looks like a CCM, you know. You know what CCM stands for? Canadian Cycle Manufacturing. I hear a plane on landing with beautiful clouds here. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I got to keep in mind of the cu the curfew, of course. You know, uh, yeah, got to keep a track of that, man, because uh, I don't want to be in too late. It's stressful, and uh, even though unfortunately it's a reminder uh, by a couple of people reminding me, it's kind of like a what do you call it? Uh, not a totalitarian society like dictatorship, but almost like communism. You know, it's a little bit troubling, but again, you know, in a time like this. To avoid thousands and thousands more deaf, like in, for example, India, Brazil, and other countries. I'm sorry to say, that looks like the bike I just saw. Huh. You know, it, it, you got to do what you got to do, man. You know, that's why we pay taxes. That's why we pay these guys their big salaries. They better to fucking, as we say in French, le grouiller le cul. They don't get their ass busy and to work and do work and to be there to help us. Us peasants, little people. I'm not little though, even though I'm six foot three. You know, still. So, Hey, you know what's funny? I don't even think I mentioned what part of town I'm in. This is the Ahuntsic sector. I'm pretty sure about that. But even me, sometimes I know as much as I know my city. I could be wrong. What the hell is this? What's that? I don't care enough to stop. Windows? We don't need windows. We need pictures of children. It looks like a, it almost made me think it's a day car, but it's a dollar store. I should cut back to a dollar story. What do you think I get most of my frames for Christ's sake? I don't know, it's just this conflict of interest with China, you know. You know, they do good work, whatever, the stuff's cheap, but bottom line is when it comes to human rights, like the thing with the, uh, all those Muslims that are keeping it trapped there, uh, that's a whole other fucking story. I don't even want to go into it. I noticed this building when I was on this corner before. Now we're at Jody. 
And uh, look at that gloss. It looks very uh, 40s, 50s design. That kind of like square glass here. Very neat. This is Audi. Whereas I like jokingly call it like a Latino Yachty. You know? So there's Jody Metro Station over there. You see that with the big overhang? There's the sign there. So what do I do? Do I go there? Do I keep going? There's our friendly police officers over there. And it's funny I should say that when a black woman just walked, walked, by, walked by me and I thought to myself, geez, I hope she's never been harassed by them. But What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know what they say? Some things change. And some things stay the same, you know? But we're in a time of change, that's for sure, so... Yeah. They got my respect. I don't have a problem with these guys, you know? Anyway... Yeah, I gotta stop here and think. You know what, whatever. I'm gonna skip the light Van Dango, so to speak. I'm gonna keep heading... I'm gonna head west here. And now we're going to head towards Rue Saint Laurent because what I can do is very simply take the 55 bus to either direction, go towards uh, uh, Cremezy, or I can go towards uh, you know uh, Jean Talon, and there's you know Cremezy Metro, there's Jean Talon, and there's there's lots of choice. I still got an hour, or so an hour is not a ton of time, but it's some time, some time. You know? okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a bit of Jay waiting at home there. Uh, that looks like a toboggan, by the way. Jari, là. C'est la seule rue qui ont fait des grosses lettres comme ça. It's the only street they did big ass letters like that. Why don't they do that like where I live in Ontario? You have like a giant O and N T A. That's not a bad idea. That would be money well spent instead of those stupid fucking bike paths. Ah. All right, I said my piece about the bike paths. I said it. I'm old school. I'm old. I'm 45, so I'm sure there's a lot of people around my age or older. They agree with me because it's just uh, it's just ridiculous. Okay. See this? I don't have a problem with that, really, actually. Because all they did was paint lines. That's it. They didn't do nothing else. They didn't, like, shuffle car uh, lanes around and all that stuff. Look at this nice old church here. Yeah. Does it make you want to get religious? Probably not, eh? Not in this day and age. Or maybe it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The iconic Montreal street lamps. Probably going too fast, eh? And I'm fast tonight, man. The pericarditis has finally subsided. I feel like I'm actually healed. I stayed home a long time. The winter was a big help in that. You know. Henri Julien. Boring cars for everybody. Ooh. Look at that sign, huh? Okay. Oh, there's a, an amazing fucking mural coming up right here, man. It actually looks like it was done by somebody who did a mural on the alleyway behind my street. Look at that. I've seen this before. That's really groovy, baby. Trippy. I love it. Speaking of old school. Take out all that in there. That's the kind of thing I would use as a thumbnail, actually. Can you call that pop art, though? I don't know. Is it pop art? I think so. It pops. You know? Anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm right and I don't have to wait for those buses too long because uh, that could that could be a problem. <laughs> like I said, I only got an hour, so I feel like tempting fate. But I figure it doesn't fucking matter. It's not like in the beginning. I mean, if I showed up at 9.45 at my house, you know, I mean, I, I don't, nobody would do anything. I even one time, I, uh, oh, there's that weird looking Mazda again. Check this out. Oh, fucking weird. Are you on drugs? You got a, a nice colored, uh, purple car with green fucking wheels I mean that's one of the most weirdest things I've ever seen but then again you know I, I like to think I have good taste oh there's an ice cream shop here and oh oh wait 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 uh, no I don't have time no time there's no time there's no time you know I feel bad talking behind this guy's back so I'm just gonna go across the street here again maybe I'll film that fire truck responding again that pumper there
mind you, part of me feels like going down one of these side streets as well. I might actually do that if I find, if I look at the uh, the transit app and find that there's no there's no 55 coming sooner or later. So, uh, you know. <laughs> That's gonna be on YouTube. Sack of potatoes. <laughs> I hope the camera picked up on that because the microphone on his phone is uh, not too good, actually. Not very good. Yeah, I better slow down. Oh boy, look at this Jeep, eh? Yeah, ready for mud. Ready to go mud, eh? Mudding. I'm gonna mural over here. I've seen an alleyway like this, uh, Montreal North, with the, the ground painted like this. Guy's really throwing me off with his bouncing as a basketball there, but he must be heavily... How does he sleep? Must be bouncing the ball in the sleep, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fucking smartass. I wasn't in high school, though. I was, uh, I was a good boy. Just got some poor grades. Restaurant Pupusna. Restaurant Pupusira Iris. All right, if that's really what it really is, maybe it's a front, like so many businesses. I wonder how you say that in French. You see, once again, my français pitoyable. I don't know what that, to say that in French. There's all these English slangs. I don't know how to say that. If you know how to say it's a front in French, write it in the comments. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's out tonight enjoying themselves before the couvre de feu. How you doing? Here we go, Saint Lana, the main. But not really the main in terms of the, the main everybody knows. This is more like the extension of Saint Laurent into the northern boroughs. Oh, big ass fucking jetliner landing. Look at this. Can I get a zoom in more than that? Not really. Air Canada maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. It could be Turkish Airways. I can't zoom in more than that. But I'll be able to tell on my 27-inch uh, screen at home. I think that's an Air France uh, 787, actually. All right, I gotta stop this a second. I gotta see when the buses are coming here. I'm tired of walking now. Well, that is all, guys. I gotta leave you with a nice uh, sun that has set. You can see the bus is coming. I'm wrapping this up. Thanks again for watching this. If you want to send me something here, appreciate my uh, token of appreciation there through my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. You want to look me up on Patreon. I'm trying to improve that site so that I get more page patrons because the revenue is down. And look at that, ending with good old nuns crap. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, just Shit, I'm stupid. I should have went to take that bus instead. Oh, well, what can I do? I'm not that psychic. Don't worry, it's just YouTube. No, just, just a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get non -scrap. I took one on the way down here, or up here, 2005, with a very whiny tranny. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, uh, sayonara. Bye-bye.